Hello and welcome to Anime Animosity. It's time for something new over here, and as you may have guessed from the title, we're going to be looking at character designs from Scarlet Nexus and giving my thoughts on them. Having started playing the game, I felt like making some content about it before I finish the Dark Deity Let's Play, in which I'll do a Let's Play of Scarlet Nexus. But that's not what's happening right now. What we're doing right now is we're going to review the character designs. So, let's get right into it. First up, we have Yuto Sumeragi, our male main character. As you can see, red and black. Right off the bat, fantastic colour combination. Nothing to knock here. Even got it in his hair. Well, it's a bit strange that he has these red highlights. What are you, a girl? He might be. I, I, no, he's not. Also, we're using art from, uh, I believe, the anime. Um, this is official art, but that's not the point. But yeah. Red and black, how it's primarily black, like most of the OSF uniforms, probably. I Actually, because I'm playing with... Uh, not unimportant. But yeah, got a couple belts. You can very easily tell he's a main character with the excess amount of belt. Well, straps. Quite nice. Add a bit of um, distinction to his trousers so they're not just solid black. And same with the coat. Nice few red highlights. And here we have the sword. Just a standard katana with a red and black hilt. Now, in terms of Yuto's design... I actually think he's quite cool. He stands out as the main character, as you can tell by a distinct hairstyle, and the fact that it's not just one solid colour, or like one style, it has red accents to it. On top of that, he just has main character hairstyle, you know? Very standard, basic. And as such, as a main character, I'd say he scores quite highly, like a 7 out of 10 on the design front. But that might be my bias to the red and black colour scheme. However, all in all, I'd probably give him like... A 6 out of 10 on the design front. Okay. And next up, we have... Yep, you're going to see me wrap the text of all of these. Although I have more to go get, I only have them copied. Our other main character, you can actually see uh, the source that I got this from. <clears throat> Don't worry about that. Anyway, next up we have... Kanade? Oh shit. Kasane. Oh my god. I'm literally playing this game right now. How did I forget the second main character's name? Kasane Randori. And again, red and black. Can't knock the color scheme. Weapon choice is actually really cool. I love the design on them. Like the these bladed projectiles that she moves with her um psychic powers. Very, very cool. And you have these like sleeves that aren't actually attached. Lovely design choice. Showing off a little bit of shoulder with the scarf. Very, very nice. I also have the long white hair with red eyes. Come on. You can't knock that. You just can't. Unless it was red and black. But that's not the point. That's not important here. That's not important. We're, we're looking at what Kasane has, not what she could have. Now, as we can see, she, she actually got quite a, you know, a nice little bit of bust. We're going to review this. we gonna review all of these features. Lovely long legs, as we can clearly see. Would not mind being stepped on by, by those every now and then. You didn't hear that? Also, the gloves, these fingerless gloves with like the red highlights, are very, very nice gloves. I realize a lot of what I'm saying is, wow, look at these red highlights, aren't they very nice? But like, this shoulder and like little bit of skin you can see, perfect for those of you that have an armpit fetish. All you have to do, you know, not got anything covering it up. So, those of you that are into that, perfect for you. As for me, you know, a little bit of shoulder, it's quite nice. It's like, subtly sexy. Kasane has a very nice design, very nice hair, cold, stern expression quality as a female main character easy 8 9 out of 10 as a character in general i'd give her probably an 8 yeah and that's kasane let me go grab our next one which is arashi spring now arashi despite her looks is actually the elder of her two siblings of her siblings in fubuki and her However, due to um, convenient um, plot points, she looks young. However, she's not a lolly, despite what she looks like. Now, Arashi is very cute. Just aesthetically, she's very cute. Got the, the, the little bunny ears, matching the fact that she's very fast. And a chainsaw. This is quite um, contrasting to her cute, sweet design. Although not quite so contrasting to her kind of uh, to the point, lazy and 
all around not wanting to do anything personality, a chainsaw would get things done effectively. So it's fitting for her personality. However, that's not what we're judging here. Personality doesn't matter. What matters is design. So, we have these nice red gloves with a little bit of black underneath. Quite nice, very cute. Aesthetic, showing off all the arm. Again, those of you with an armpit fetish, perfect for you. And due to being quite short, she does not have very much in the leg department. This, this is a minus point, in my opinion. However, I do quite like her OSF uniform, like this um, kind of dress thing with the hood. Very cute, very aesthetic. I love the like the uh, the the Latin. It's not really a ladder pattern, but you, the pattern down the middle. Very nice, very pleasing aesthetically with a, these white bands to add a little bit of color contrast to uh, add detail and make sure you don't get bored of just the solid red and black. Also, this armband, very cute. On top of that, we've got the twins. Very cute, very Genki. However, contrasting her personality, but that's not what matters. She looks like the the Genki bubbly childhood friend type and that's cute all in all arashi probably like a 7 8 out of 10 overall moving on we have genma absolute beefy boy look at this man look at him absolutely chonking for a bloke in his 50s, he's not looking half bad. Now, Gemma, he is a tank. You know, his psychic ability is to make himself stone and be bulky and not take damage. Very helpful. So, the bulky full body armor to focus his sclerokinesis on, very practical. However, it's mostly black. From the design front, he lacks flair. Because it is just full body armor with a few red highlights, but that lacking flair isn't necessarily a bad thing, because it does look quite nice. It's very clean, very sleek. And for that, I can't take too many points away from him for having a standard, very plain appearance. In terms of everything other than his armor, we can see a small scar here, which lets us know that he's, you know, he's worn, he's been through many a battle. I mean, he's 50. Well, he's over 50. It makes sense that he's been through many a battle. Also, this nice hair colour. Yeah, it's quite nice. He's also got quite a lot of hair for a man in his 50s. Fair play to Genma. Looking after his hair. Keeping his, uh, you know, keeping himself healthy. Good on you, man. All in all, I'd say we give Genma like a 6. In fact, you know, we'll give Genma a 7. Just because the armour looks sleek and gotta respect the tanky boy. Okay, next up we have Hanabi. Hanabi, 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 what am I saying, man? Hanabi Ichijo. Now, where do we start here? There's a there's a lot, a lot going on here. Okay, so, we have this, so we, let's start with the hairstyle. We've got this, the side ponytail. Very nice, very cute, somewhat childish. But that makes sense given that she's only around 16. So, you know, we'll let her off for that. Very cute, though. As you can see, we have this r quite bright red um, ribbon tying it. Very, very cute. Stands out. Even though her hair is like this reddish brown, because of the bright red, it stands out. It won't get lost. Very smart decision. Highlight the cute ac accents of your outfit. Next up, we have the coat itself. We have this first layer, which is the overcoat, which clearly has this hood, which we can see. Very nice. Hoods are always a good choice especially with the aesthetic they have in Scarlet Nexus. Now, we have this one sleeve that is like a full, like, protective sleeve, given that she uses pyrokinesis. Probably doesn't want to get herself burned, just in case. However, on the other side, she doesn't. In terms of a practical thing, this is far from a practical outfit, but your eyes can tell you that. However, this one bright red sleeve looks very nice. It's very aesthetically pleasing, as contrast to her left side. She's got a very asymmetric design. Now, the other side, we have this short sleeve into a normal black under part with a black glove. She has black gloves on both hands. Yeah, standard. The black gloves would have been nice if they were fingerless, but then again, fire. Got to keep your fingers safe. Don't want to get burnt. You know, got precious, fair skin. Got to be careful. As for her face, quite cute. Purple eyes, stand out. In contrast to the red and black and the brown of her design. 
Now we move on to the underlayer. So we have this like, well, it's like a, it's just the top. It's got a zip down the middle of it. It's pretty simple. Although, it exposes the midriff. Now this, this is an important feature. This is very, very, very cute. But has subtle like, yeah, look at me. Um, kind of vibes to it. And given that she's probably trying to get our boy Yuto's attention, this makes sense. It's quite cute. Gives her a very f unique design. She's probably the one that shows off the most skin. Albeit, that's still not a lot. Now, then we move on. She has a skirt. This is quite cute. It's very um, different. Most of them are wearing trousers. However, we have Arashi wearing a Not Arashi. Hanabi wearing a skirt with pretty much bare leg. Other than the left where she has this, like, other piece. I'm not a clothing expert. I don't know what this is. And then, like, these straps. Very, very nice. Again, adds to the asymmetric nature of her design. The side ponytail, the one red sleeve, one leg bare, one leg not. Very, very nice. All in all, I'd give Hanabi, like, a an 8 out of 10. A very steady, stable 8 out of 10 in terms of her design. Hanabi's really cute. Okay, next up we have Kagero, the absolute chad. Look at this man. Look at his luscious blonde locks. Tied into a subtle ponytail down the side. Lovely, lovely flowing cape. Just exudes style and chinibio, but style. He's also got heterochromia. Look at him, he's unique and quirky. But in, all in all, I do think that the heterochromia, in his case, actually looks quite nice. Because one matches his hair and one contrasts it and matches the red of his outfit. It's quite an aesthetically pleasing thing. And also he's got these two very cool knives that he uses when invisible. Very cool. On top of that, he goes invisible. Look at this aesthetic. Look at that. How cool is that? And that pretty much sums up what I think about Kagero. Very cool. You know, like I said, he's a chad. Look at him. He just emits like, I'm a, I'm a nice guy. I'm a cool cucumber. No, he, he's not a cool cucumber. But he admits that you know when he's there, unless he's invisible, of course. In which case, you don't. So it's actually quite contrasting to his ability, which I think adds an extra layer to it. It's quite impressive, really, that he can have the audacity to wear something like this, show off that much chest, and yet has powers to go invisible. It's quite a, the contrast. That his primary thing is to be stealthy. But then he has all this flair when he's when he's out there. When, it, when he's there, there's so much flair. That rhymes. It's very impressive. Very cool, very chad. All in all, Kagro, 8 out of 10. Very good, very nice, very unique design. You'll notice that's, for the most part, how all of them are. Okay, next up we have Kyoka Eden. Eden, or however you want to say it, depending on where you're from. As you see, there's three of her. We'll only review one because they're all her. Now, another character wearing... Is that... Is she wearing a skirt? Probably. Looks like it. Either that or it's like a, just a one-piece dress type thing. But look at these boots. With these thigh highs. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Immediate. Immediately catching my attention. Good stuff. Lovely long legs. Beautiful. She's like a crossbow. Very cool. She's also got lo quite long hair. Tied into a ponytail. Going down the back. She gives off quite big sister energy. You know. Warm. Not that ara ara. Although she does have some ara ara elements. As I've pointed out. With these boots. But she's quite warm and comforting. And her you know, encompassing design. Not much skin on show. Shows that. We do have a nice little bit of thigh here, but it's not exposed. It's subtle. It's inviting. It's warm. And here, also, in terms of this, we have the overcoat. Quite nice. Mostly black with a few red accents and highlights with these crosses going around the side and around the back, presumably. It's quite nice. Very unique. Again, I'm saying that for all of them, but, you know, it's important for a game to have a unique cast with varying designs. And that is what this game has. And as we can see, Kyoka has purple hair. Again, very different. Most of the characters have, well, different hair colours. And so they all stand out. Her hair style is also quite unique. In the fact, she's got this ponytail that splits a little bit at the back into this bit here. Again, I'm not a hairstylist. I don't, I'm not a hairstylist either. As earlier, I said I wasn't a, cl a cloth person. So I don't know what this means. But it's very nice. She's also got these little feather 
things here, which are also quite nice. They add a bit of flair, a bit of personality to our outfit that isn't just OSF uniform. All in all, Kyoko gets a 7 out of 10. And now we shall move on to our next. Not quite last, we've got a couple more to go through. And this is Luca Travers. As we can see, Shota Khan. But he's not a Shota, he's actually pretty old. How old? Don't ask me. But he's old, he's not young, he's not, he's not actually a Shota, but he looks like it. So those of you Shota Khans, there's something for everyone. Look at him. Those of you like your cute little boys, you got one right there. Me personally, I'm straight and not into children. So for me that doesn't that doesn't appeal to me. And also he's got a very plain, simple design, but to be honest, that makes sense. Other than for some reason he's just wearing shorts. He's supposed to teleport in, attack, or perhaps teleport in, get people out there. He doesn't want to stand out too much and draw people's attention. So it's fitting that he's got like this very subdued design with a little bit of red accent on the base of his hammer and on his backpack. Luca's design is practical, it fits, while being somewhat stylish. However, all in all, I'd probably have to give him the lowest score of like a 5, personally because his design doesn't really appeal to me, because he's a small child. Boy. It's not my thing. Although, I gotta wrap the... You know, he's got typical anime hairstyle. Very nice. Green eyes match the green hair. Could be aesthetically pleasing. But yeah. Personally, not for me. 5 out of 10. And next up, we have Shiden Rita. Absolute cunt. Um, but that's not the point. We're not talking about their personality. We're talking about the design. So, she, as we can see, has a pretty standard full OSF uniform. How it's got some slight different accents. Like it's got this white hood. Well, silvery white hood to contrast the black that most or red that most people have. Very unique. Trying to stand out, you piece of shit, huh? No, that's not important here. He's also got these red glasses. Very nice. As someone that wears glasses myself, got to rep that. You know, respect to bespectacled bastards. Yes. Because his design is quite nice with his like red highlights in the, a band. I do quite like his design. It's too bad he's a piece of shit. And he's got these belts, these straps, quite nice to attach to his side bag. Probably where he keeps like healing items or other such things. Also, his weapons are quite unique, quite nice. Um, Tonfa? No, these aren't Tonfa. Size? Size. Although not bladed because he runs electricity through them. Which is quite cool that he uses it instead of having just like batons he has size it, it stands out it's quite unique quite nice very aesthetic he's throwing all these buzzwords for all of them but to be honest, i do quite like his design he's got these red highlights he's got seaweed hair in terms of both color and design which is um you know um yeah it's how it is it's not the best hairstyle come on sweden you got this drip you got this hood but then your hair's shit you got dead trim, mate. What are you doing? Nah, what are you doing? But yeah. Um, joke aside, Sheedan, seven out, six out of ten. Six out of ten for that trim. And finally, we have Sugumi Neva. Our final one for the video. And you, no, you know, with what I said about um, most of them not wearing skirts, here's another one with a skirt. Now, Sugumi is very cute. Very small. She's covering one eye. She's actually got poor eyesight, which is quite sad. How about her hairstyle covering the one eye? While some people may think of it as edgy, that's not what she is. She's cute. She's shy. And the, the hair covering the eye really highlights this. Also, the skirt added points for, for not sticking to the, the trousers style that most of them wear. Or shorts, you know? Flow. Appeal. Quite slender legs, very small though. So, give and take, really. Also, again, got like a, quite this nice um, shawl, this cape, this overthrow, with a nice red ribbon to tie it in the middle. Looks really aesthetically pleasing, makes her stand out. Now, her eye might be purple here, however, they aren't normally. She's using her clairvoyance here, as we can see with the, the visual flair. And when she's using the clairvoyance, the eye actually stands out quite nicely among everything else. It's quite bright, which contrasts her dark. A primarily quite dark aesthetic. 
It's very, very distinct, very appealing, very, very buzzwords. So all in all, tsukumi has got quite a nice design. She's also very cute. Got a handgun, so she can see through things. If it's like a shoot through a wall, she'd be great in siege. Very, very good in siege indeed. If she were an operator, see through wall, then pop them. But all in all, Sugumi, very cute. Seven out of ten in terms of design. Lovely stuff. And that, ladies and gents, if you stuck this far through, is the end of the Scarlet Nexus character design review. This was a very stiff video because I hadn't really planned any of this out before recording it. I plan to probably have these have a bit better flow to them in future, but I will do these a lot more. Because this was something I'll, I think is a lot of fun to do before I can just chat shit for a period of time. And it doesn't require a whole lot of effort, which is part of the reason why I want to do it. But yeah, I hope to do this again in the future. I hope you enjoyed. I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I'll get to you all next time for another video. To tough for now.